Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. Today is a special day in Pittsburgh Seventh-day Adventist Church. We have a special moment to celebrate together. We have our dear sister, Glenda Allender. She has decided to follow Jesus, and as we know, there's no turning back with that direction. So she came forward. She came forward and she says she wants to join this whole big body of Christ in this world. And she's saying that she would like to profess it publicly. She doesn't want to be somewhere in the forest, in a little creek somewhere, hidden and unknown. She wants to be on the Sabbath day with joy and gladness, profess her decision to follow the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Based on my experience, I can tell you this is the most important decision somebody can make in their life. Amen. People say, I'm getting married, all other decisions maybe people making in this life. This is the most important decision somebody can marry uh, Jesus Christ and can be with Him and can stay together with Christ till He comes. It's the most important decision of anyone else's life somebody can make. Miss Glenda, yes. how are you this morning? I'm fine. I would like to ask you a few questions here, several questions about your profession of faith, about your belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I would like to ask all of us here to testify about those vows that Glenda is going to make to Jesus. Do, Ms. Ms. Glenda, do you believe that there is one God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, a unity of three co-eternal persons? Yes. That's good to know. Do you accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as a atoning sacrifice for your sins and believe by God's grace through faith in His shed blood you are saved from sin and its penalty? Yes, definitely. You believe that? Beautiful. Praise the Lord. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Believing that God in Christ has forgiven your sins and given you a new heart and you renounce the sinful ways of the world? I do. You do. This is, this, is, this is very powerful. This is first. I, I could stop right now. I could stop right now. We can move all forward. But a couple more questions, if you don't mind, we're going to ask you here. Do you accept by faith the righteousness of Christ, your intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept His promise of transforming grace and power to live a loving, Christ-centered life in your home and before the world? Yes, definitely. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian? Do you covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and Bible study? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you accept the Ten Commandments as a transcript of the character of God and a revelation of His will? Is it your purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep this law, including the fourth commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord and the memorial of creation? Yes, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall be put on immortality? As you prepare to meet the Lord, will you witness to His loving salvation by using your talents in personal soul-winning endeavor to help others to be ready for His glorious appearing? Yes, I Amen. Will. Amen. Do you accept the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? Yes, I do. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you believe in a church organization? Is it your purpose to worship God and support the church through your tithes and offerings and by your personal effort and influence? Yes. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? And will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful, and abstaining from all unclean foods, from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, from the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in any of its forms for human consumption, and from the misuse of trafficking in narcotics or other drugs? I will. Amen. Amen. Do you know and understand that the fundamental Bible principles as taught by Seventh-day Adventist Church, do you purpose by the grace of God to fulfill His will by ordering your life in harmony with these fundamental principles? I will. Praise the Lord. Two more, Ms. Glenda. Do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and also 
His forgiveness of your sins. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the final one is, do you accept and believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy? And that people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted in its fellowship? Do you desire to be a member of this local congregation of the World Church? Yes, I do. Now I would like to ask this local congregation of this World Church, would you be willing, would you be in favor to accept Glenda Allender into your fellowship, subject to her baptism? Would you be willing to embrace her and receive her as a family member of Pittsburgh Seventh-day Adventist Church? Amen. If you are, we encourage you to declare it by standing up on your feet. Ms. Glenda, look. Amen. Brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us say the thank you prayer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ before we go to the baptismal ceremony. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are standing in your presence right now to testify about your love and grace and saving grace. Amazing grace, we call it. We are here to testify that you are Lord and Savior who delivers us from the power of darkness and bring us to the power of light. As we walk in the light, as you in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ purifies us from all sins. So we are here witnessing testimony of Glenda Allender. And we accept her to our family here in Pittsburgh, Seventh-day Church. And we pray the Holy Spirit will seal this decision for eternity. Bless us, we pray, as we continue to worship you together. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may be seated. Baptismal water with Glenda Allen. Today we're going to be witnessing the new birth together as a congregation. This moment is when the whole angelic host is celebrating right now. Whole heaven is trembling. Angels are playing their harps and their music. They're celebrating the new birth. And they're looking forward to that day when these sin and sinners will be no more and the whole eternity will celebrate eternal life of each and every one of us. Amen. As Miss Glenda is joining this church, I would like to ask people who were supporting her on her journey with the Lord to stand up and witness this event. Please, family members, friends who are supporting Glenda on this decision, please stand up. Miss Glenda, because you love the Lord, your God. Yes. And you're going to give him your life. You want to be part of the member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. You want to look for his soon appearing. And you want to live life fully consecrated to him. As a minister of the gospel, I baptize you in the name of your Heavenly Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I know, I know. So today, today, we're praising God for that event. Today I want to have a special prayer of consecration of Glenn Allen. Because this is not the end of the journey. This is the beginning of the new life. Why don't we all pray right now one more time to ask the Holy Spirit to seal this precious soul, Glenn Dallander, for eternity. Amen. To consecrate this life. This is prayer of consecration. Let us bow our heads and ask the Lord to bless. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we are thankful for this joy that you've given us to experience together. Joy of the new birth. Joy of life fully consecrated to you. Today, we pray, relying on your mercy and your grace, that, Father, you give your Holy Spirit without measure upon this precious life. That Sister Glenda experienced amazing transformation in character in her life. She can behold Jesus every moment of her life. 
She can see the amazing things that you are going to do in her life. And bless us as a church to support and to be on this journey, to help one another, to help Glenda, to stay united with this power that you've given us, this unlimited power of your Holy Spirit. So we pray for your blessings right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. There may be some of you here today who still haven't decided that yet. You might be going through your life journey and you might be thinking about, should I give my life to Christ? Shouldn't I do it? You know, should I go somewhere else? Should I find something else? You might be still undecided today. I want to appeal to you today. The time is very short and there will be soon, there will be no more time in this world. Please make up your mind as soon as you can. Come and see elders, come and see a pastor of the church, come to see the leaders of this congregation and, and give your life to Christ. Don't wait any longer because you don't know how much we still have in this world. Please give your life to Jesus as a testimony of his grace. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Happy Sabbath, everyone.